All right, it's time to review Taken the Sequel, I mean, Unknown. So as we all know from the trailers that have been heavily marketed so far, Unknown stars Liam Neeson as Dr. Martin Harris, a guy who was on vacation in Berlin with his wife Liz, played by January Jones from Mad Men, as they are about to attend a biotech science convention at the Alton Hotel in Berlin. But when they check into the hotel, he realizes that he left one of his bags behind, so he texts a cab to go back to the airport. But then he gets into a car accident and it makes him lapse into a coma for four days in which when he wakes up, he has no identification or anything in which nobody knows who he is. He finally gets released from the hospital and returns to the hotel, but he realizes that nobody recognizes him and nobody knows who he even is. Like he approaches his wife and she says, do I know you? I don't know who you are. So what all unravels is a big old mystery that Martin Harris must uh, unwind in order to find out if he's just going crazy or if it's all a, a big conspiracy surrounding it. Along the way, he's also aided by an unlikely ally who coincidentally was the cab driver who was involved in the car accident and she's played by Diane Kruger. Now this is a film that I was really looking forward to because I like Liam Neeson in just about everything. I think his resurgence role in Taken is really what made me get into all his other work so far. Like I'm still going through it right now but I really like the guy on screen. He's got a lot of gravitas with the actors that he works with and he always seems to be putting all that he's got into each role he does. Like even for ones which it looks like the movie's not going to be good, he still always gives it his best shot. And it's no surprise here because he's pretty good in the role. You always care for his character, he's got a lot of good chemistry with the actors and actresses that he's working with, and uh, he's very satisfying in this film, I'll say that. And plus, we've pretty much figured out by now that every movie that he stars in is one that's not complete unless the character gets Liam Neeson. And if you need another refresher, if you haven't seen Taken, it's like this. <coughs> Sorry if I scared any of you with that, but so Liam Neeson is good. I thought January Jones also did a good job playing his wife in the film. But the biggest surprise in this film to me, though, was Diane Kruger playing the cab driver who was involved in the accident, who ends up teaming up with Neeson to take back his identity. I thought she was really good. I mean, it's great to see her use her German accent again for the film and... Uh, you know, from each film I've seen of her, she just seems to be improving with each role she's gotten. I really hope we, we get to see more of her in these types of thriller roles, too. I think the film is well-directed by John Collette Sumer. I hope I said that name right. I mean, he does stage some pretty good set pieces, especially a great car chase in the middle of the film as it's definitely one of the best to start off the new decade, too. I also think that the whole unwinding of the mystery is pretty good, and I like how they it like all comes together in the end. Of course, once again, not going to give anything away for it, though. As for what I didn't like about this film, though, I think that the movie does have a few pacing issues in which it will pick up real quick when the action starts, and then uh, it just kind of slows down after that. The whole pacing of this film is structured like going to Six Flags. Once you get on the ride, it's a very fast experience. But once you get back in line to ride another one of the roller coasters there, it just stalls just like that. And then it finally picks up again. It's just kind of like a repetitive thing and as for going there, as for the film too. And also, I think that the director just doesn't know what to do with like unraveling the character. The character of Martin Harris is kind of complicated in some parts. It's like, there are some traits of his that should be obvious, like once it's all explained. But for some reason, it just doesn't seem smart enough at some points. I hope you're understanding this from me, though, because there's just some parts in which they explain stuff about his character, like, as the movie progresses, and you just wonder, how come he didn't really act like that before? It just, it, it didn't make a lot of sense in that part. But then again, the action sequences, which are mostly in the second half of the film, they're pretty good. Like, there are two really brutal fist fights in it, especially one where a character gets Liam Neeson. And also, the, as I said, the car chase is really well done in this film. It ends with a satisfying blast. And But what really surprised me was that Dennis Haysbert never made a cameo in this film because there are so many car accidents in this film. At any moment, I was waiting for this guy to come out and do an infomercial for Allstate Auto Insurance. 
or that stunt guy, of course, because his commercials are pretty badass, too. So overall, I think Unknown is a satisfying thriller. I mean, it's definitely no Taken. That's the one thing I think everyone's got to know. If you go and expect in Taken, you're going to be disappointed. But if you expect it to be kind of part of that, because Liam Neeson's playing a character that kind of has a little bit of those Taken personalities in them, you're going to like it then. I'm going to give Unknown 3 out of 5 stars. It's a satisfying film. Just don't go expect and take it and you'll have a fun time. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Unknown and this is your first time visiting my channel. Hit that subscribe button above me. I got more coming for you guys, of course. I might be seeing I'm number 4 in a few days, so uh, be looking forward to that. And also, I apologize to all my other subscribers that I didn't put up a CCR vlog this week. I was just really busy with school, but it wasn't today because I got a 4-day weekend. In the meantime, I'm Tyler from Catacurk Reviews and I'll see you guys later.